thought you were filming me and yeah. Uh, uh no, no, I ain't filming. I don't want to be filmed. No, I ain't filming you. I ain't filming. Okay. You. See, Roy was trying to kill me, y'all. I was gonna die. <laughs> Fly Roy, man, took man, I care broke of me. It. That's what happened. It broke. <laughs> What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Stunner Reese and I'm back, 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 back with another video, man, today. Man, guys, your boy messed up last night, man. Y'all know if y'all seen my yesterday's video, y'all seen I, you know what I'm saying, did some little modifications to Roseanne, man, but yeah, it came with a consequence, man. So today, man, I got my boy Fly Ray Trendsetter, man, he about to pull up, man, and he's about to uh, actually, man, get Roseanne back in order for your boy Stunner Reese, man. So definitely, man, make sure y'all stick around for this whole entire video. If you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the post notifications to all so that you don't miss none of these bangers that your boy Stunner Reese gonna be bringing you, man, dropping on you, man. All right, also, don't forget, man, hit that comments, hit the likes up. Definitely, man, do all that, man, and uh, hit that uh, post notification bell so you can be a real one, all right? But I'm gonna holler at y'all, man, right after this lit ass intro. Let's go. Yeah. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Or bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch. My bed. I got scales all on my floor. I got money on the line, plus I'm clocking it below. I got bitches kissing, bitches go to bitches go explore. I'm feeling way up. Can I stay up? Put your bitch on my Snapchat while I fuck my makeup. She want a chance with me, cause she know I'm a rapper. I give a but I never get feelings to shawty. I know what you after. Squizzy, man. How y'all feeling? How y'all living, man? My boy Flyroy, man, has pulled up on me with Junior. What up, man? What's going on, fellas? What's good with it? Chilling, man. We out here, man. We finna come say today, man. You know, help my bro out. Yes, sir. And actually, I got the same problem on my L code. I ain't even did mine yet. So we're gonna get exclusive mine. I so just... he gonna practice on mine. No, no, I already right? the crazy part, yeah. I did mine already. But when I went to the Dalton show, I was I was turned up, smoking the tires up, and that's how you can blow the wheel seals out, you know what I'm saying, on the G body. So Y'all y'all know what it is, but we're gonna get to it, we're gonna bust it down, man, and we're gonna change these studs. We're gonna pop one of these out so we can make sure we get the right one because they are different from the front and the rear. And uh we're gonna adjust everything and get it going, man. Also, I'm gonna show two times. Actually, he's gonna get dirty today, cause he's gonna learn how to do this, cause he's gonna get older, he gonna need to learn how to fix his car. Oh, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. okay, that's what's up. Yeah. By the time he get older, uh, the car's gonna be flying. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, but he gonna have an Elko, so he gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Don't just voice it. So you just, uh... That way, just like that, you know what I'm saying? Spinning around for you, and as y'all see, we got one stud out. And the good thing about his, y'all see I still got the grooves, you know what I'm saying? Some people do them, and they, all this ain't nothing to... You gotta change the axles then. They they didn't put too many up in there, then line up right, and they strip out the inside of the holes. But okay. unfortunately in this situation, that's not it. All that's right. That Mustang was. Yeah, that's how that Mustang was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yes. so all we need is this. The wheel seals is all the same. You know what I'm saying? So we don't need to take that out. And we just needed this. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. So we need that brake cleaner. Yeah, the wheel seal and uh uh some brake fluid. Brake fluid. So we're gonna have to bleed the brakes. Yep. Okay, cool, mm -hmm. cool. All right, gang. So that's what it is, man. So now we... you want me to notch the frame for you? Let's notch it real quick. I, I just I could do it for you right here. Whatever. <laughs> I, actually I can. You sound like Nicholas. Yeah, I can. <laughs> you sound like Nicholas. <laughs> oh, we didn't got fly red and turned into <laughs> Nicholas. Oh man, I could put it to a whole mother uh yacht motor in here, man. Boy, I tell you, boy, Flyroy and Nicholas. Yeah, yeah, two yeah. Characters. That's what I'm trying to tell you, man. Bring Nicholas to the shop when we get it. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Lady X. Hey, I, I, uh, Flyroy just pulled a Nicholas. Talking about, oh, I can notch your frame right here, man. You want me to do it for you? I said, yeah, you sound like Nicholas. Yeah. Definitely, man. Make sure y'all stick around. Uh, Lady X, man, she's going to be dropping a banger, man, today, man. 
Every day she dropping them bangers. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button for her, man. She trying to get to that 10K. She only like 100 some subscribers away from that 10K. So yeah, man, she love y'all so much for all the love and support too. But uh, we gotta run to the store, grab these wheel studs, the uh, brake seal or whatever, and uh, get Roseanne back on the road today. All right, let's go. All right, gang, we made it to Advanced Auto Parts. Yes, sir. Uh, gotta grab all this little stuff that we need. What's up, C? Need um, what the heck is that? a GoPro. For what in here? Huh? Oh, I'm just vlogging myself. I'm oh. a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. That's what I do. Oh, okay. I thought you filming me in here. Uh, no, no, I ain't filming. I don't want to be filmed. No, I ain't filming you. I ain't filming. Okay. You. All right. So, uh, what was you I finna say? Wheel studs, rear, rear, yeah. uh, real, rear, uh, wheel studs. I don't know the year of it. It's an '87 Buick Regal. Uh, uh, limited. '87. Yes, Buick Regal Limited. I'd be in the Buick. Yep. Look for what? With rear rear wheel studs. I say looking for. Uh, I need some lugs too. Damn, I should have brought one of them lugs because they gotta go in there. to another advance because they didn't have it. Yeah, old Dr. Doolittle in there acting like he ain't want to be on camera. That ain't on this. What, 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 what? I'm like, dude, ain't no damn camera. Do you see a camera point towards you? But it's all good, man. You know, hey, everything ain't for everybody, man. Gotta realize that in life. Yes, sir. But yeah, man, we on a mission, man. We gonna get Roseanne in order. He knocked them damn studs out so damn easy. I ain't even know that shit was that easy. Yeah, that's how they come yeah. You put them on basically the same way. Just make sure it's in the grooves. And you can either use a ratchet or an impact to draw them in with the old, uh, with the old uh, lug nut. Yeah. Yep. A lot of people take the axles out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put them on the table and beat them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's different ways to do different things, man. But hopefully y'all learning something here on this video as well, man. Because I'm learning. That's what it's all about. Learning, learning, learning. Constantly keep learning. Always be learning. <sighs> man, but uh, man, hopefully y'all, I know I said it on my yesterday's video, but hopefully today will be the day that I make the final announcement for Stunner Jam. All right, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Everything is done. I got the A-OK. -okay. I just got to sign a contract. And I, you know me, I'm just the type of person I don't like to jinx myself by saying anything without the, the legal legal done. You know what I'm saying? They already told me I got the place. I got the date. I already got the insurance for the location. Everything is squared away. Oh, look at that. Track home, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but... Uh, I don't like looking at Jeep. But yeah, gang. <laughs> Roy said he don't like looking at Jeeps no more since Ice Ray gone. Yeah, I talked to uh, Sheila the other day too, y'all. She said she took the Milano's off and she put the factory wheels on because she just want to drive it, you know what I'm saying, and don't want the other wheels to get uh, damaged. So she is driving around in Detroit on the stock. So if y'all looking for Ice Tray in Detroit, just look for the wrap and the gold on it on the hood and stuff but the you're not gonna see it with the volanos on it because she took those off uh, please don't pull on side of that lady i seen how she took off she know how to drive <laughs> no you seen that she that dude told her hey hey wait for me wait 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 oh, wait oh yeah no she was sideways with it when she pulled up nah, uh, no nah, definitely shout out to sheila man uh, she know how to drive. good talking to her again and uh man like i said hopefully we'll see her and Ice Trade, they might pull up to the show in Milan, Michigan, and we might get a chance to see uh, Ice Trade again, so we'll see, all right? But yeah, man, we're gonna get over here to Advance, man, and get Roseanne together. Oh, also, another update, man. I talked to uh, Jay-Z Raps, 
down in Texas. Uh, the truck should be actually done this weekend, they saying. So, we're going to probably uh, take off next week during the week sometime and go down there and pick it up and come on back. And then, um, you know what I'm saying, start the process of building that thing. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be a big build. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We got to go to the suspension shop, uh, get the rear end narrowed, all kinds of stuff to fit the wheels on there. So that's going to be a bad boy once it's done. It's got to get all kinds of little stuff. Roy got to put his hands on that too. We got to uh, we got to see what parts of the truck we can save. Uh, if we can save like the door panels, anything I can save and restore and get back looking new. Uh, I already talked to uh, the guy about changing out the seats though. We're gonna put some new leather seats uh, or covers or whatever, redo the seats and stuff. So that's already getting done. We're probably gonna redo the headliner uh, and uh, you know, just some other stuff. But um, if we, when anything we can save, you know what I'm saying, and restore, uh, we're gonna, we gonna keep, you know what I'm saying. As long as we can get it looking real nice, probably gonna replace the carpet. But we got, you know, once that truck comes back, then we're gonna go over a whole overview of everything that has to be done to the suburban. Look at that Elko boy. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, that boy gangster. But yeah, so y'all, man, just make sure y'all stick around, stay tuned for that video as well. I'm so excited, like, like. That truck, I ain't even dropped the name on y'all yet, but I ain't cause I ain't gonna I ain't gonna do it till I get it. I know what the name is, but I ain't doing it till I get it. But that truck right there, that truck is probably gonna be like the truck that I'm gonna be taking to a lot of shows, y'all. Like that's gonna be my show truck along with Drac. And then of course Roseanne too. But you know, I think Kavari is cool for a show car, but it's just, you know. You get more respect with the old schools in my eyes, in my opinion. So, you know what I'm saying? We we gonna do something that's a little bit more built, not bought, not just, you know what I'm saying, just a simple little, you know, uh, you know, wheel bolt on or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Something that take a little time, passion, and the degree of difficulty is uh, a little bit more on the bill, you know. And that's why a lot of times people be complaining in these car shows, like, oh, I got a brand new car. I had it painted, you know what I'm saying? But then you got another dude who had an old school that had his painted, you know what I'm saying? His paint is just as good as yours. Well, the degree of difficulty to paint an old school, you know what I'm saying, is harder. So you always have to consider that, you know what I'm saying, when you are uh, going into these car shows with these brand new cars, trying to, you know what I'm saying, win these trophies and stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a, it's a lot easier to build something that's flawless already versus trying to build something that's, you know what I'm saying, that's all messed up and needs not only to be brought back to beauty, but also need to be brought back mechanically and need to be restored, you know, so on many different levels. So, you know what I'm saying? Just a little something for y'all, you know, who'll be going to these car shows with these new chargers with wheels bolted on them, you know what I'm saying? Thinking that you're gonna win, you know, versus somebody might have a box Chevy that ain't as, ain't as flawless, but the degree of difficulty of the build, um, you know, is a little different. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just a little knowledge for y'all, man. But we're gonna be pulling up and uh, grabbing these wheel studs. I'll holler at y'all, man, once we get up in here. All right, let's get it. Yeah. All right, gang. <laughs> Roy the... just admitted that he was beat up the day after we raced, man. But hey, y'all, we got a uh, old Sanford and Son truck over there, man, for sale, man. Got a for sale sign in it. Woo. Wonder how much they want for that, man. How would y'all like to see your boy Stunner Reese build an old Sanford for the Sun truck? <laughs> nah, that ain't really my lane right there. I like the body style that came after those though, a whole lot. Those are like my favorite okay. Chevy trucks right, is the you. ones that came after that. Yep. Yep. Um, they're a little bit rounder. Before The ones right before the square bodies, those are my my favorite Chevy truck. But. Oh, Santa for the Sun ain't looking too bad, though. Yeah, yeah, that's how it is. Yeah, some of them is like that's a Santa for the Sun joint, my boy. That's uh, 
A lot of y'all don't know what Sanford Sun was. Yeah, I, I, I grew up in LA around yeah. the corner from it. <laughs> Mike, Grady, all of them. That's yeah, yeah. up. That's yes, up. But yeah, gang, uh, we are headed back, man. We're about to start this process of getting Roseanne together, man. I'm trying to make these shows this weekend, man. We're going to probably try to bring Roseanne to at least one of them. I might bring Roseanne to both shows this weekend. Now, guys, this weekend on Saturday, Robinson Brother having a show uh, in Linwood, and then Velt Boy is having his show in St. Louis, man. So we're going on a small world tour this weekend. It ain't a big world tour, but a small tour, all right? So that's what it is, man. I'll holla at y'all, man. Let's get it. All right, y'all, it's your boy. We back, back in the demonstration. Y'all see it, yes, sir. So we on right now, we got everything from uh, a, uh, the auto parts store. We got our brake cleaner. We got our wheel studs. We got the uh, wheel cylinder. We got all that, you know what I'm saying? So we get ready to get to it and get everything going. I'm probably gonna let two times get on it, spin the camera around, let him film. I'm gonna go underneath and show y'all what I'm doing. I didn't bring all my tools with me like I'm supposed to have because I thought I was just changing the wheel studs. But I do have my favorite friend with me, my vice grips. And y'all know changing the wheel cylinders is not that much work. Uh, it do got a clip in the back that you got to take off and some things like that. But other than that, it's like real easy. So y'all stay tuned, like, share, subscribe, and let's get it. Also subscribe to your boy, check me out, Flyroy the Trendsetter. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, but we're gonna pass the uh, video over the two times, you know what I'm saying, and let them do it. All right, y'all, so I'm popping these studs out. Do me a favor. Oh, I can use that brown tile right there. Clean this up. Let me get that little thing for the. Uh... No, we're gonna give me that tile. something that I can lay on. Let's see if we can find something to lay on. Can you still see us so this the screen cut off? But yeah, but it's still recording. Mm. All right, now, cut. You gone. What you said you gotta do right now? I gotta remove the brake line. Okay, there we go. You gotta remove the brake line. So, I, once I get the the wheel cylinder thing a little. Okay. So I got the brake line loose, got it out. That's the first thing you wanna do is remove the brake line from the wheel cylinder. got that off. Next, there's a little clip behind it, which I need to find a screwdriver or something to get behind it. Y'all, hold on one second. All right, gang, 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 man, I'm back, man. Had to go get Millie situated in the house because she was acting crazy. That's right, man, she did not want to be separated from me when I'm around here, so... You know what I'm saying? I had to go spin a move and uh, get us some cereal. You know what I'm saying? Sit her down, watch some cartoons, and uh, you know, sneak out the door. But Roy, I see up under the car, man. 
You know what I'm saying? Getting them situated. Now, what you doing right now? I'm removing the clip in the back of the, uh, the wheel cylinder. He's removing some type of clip back there for the wheel cylinder. Y'all can see what he's doing. I can't see what he's doing, but y'all can see what he's doing. Yeah, he's removing that clip so he can take the wheel cylinder out and put the new one in, obviously. Okay, you know he got saying? the clip out. He, he got the clip out. Y'all see? You see the clip hanging on the, uh, it's right here. This, this is the clip right here. It lock in on both sides and it snap in on the wheel cylinder. Okay, so yeah, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now I just need to get over here. All right, now I'm all on, on his way. I took the spring out and disconnected the shock so it could be uh, easier for him to get to it. So now, now this is the fun part. Now he finna have some fun, y'all. He finna have some fun, y'all. So is it a series, like the way that you gotta do this? Yeah, so. So first thing you gotta do is. The first thing you gotta do is you gotta remove this spring and these springs over here. Okay. To take this off, cause the wheel cylinder sits in between there, in between the shoes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Y'all heard them. Guys, working on old schools, okay. it's a whole lot of fun, but sometimes it ain't that fun. <laughs> sometimes you like it. Annoy with it like you do everything else in the world. But hey, you know, we enjoy working on old cars. It's like old cars got spirit, got souls. New cars, not so much. Oh, here we go right here, you see, so. Oh, you did it? Yeah. I missed it, man. So you basically, you gotta take this, this little clip out. Yep, and you got, like I said, make sure you got your springs on where they're supposed to go. And the wheel cylinder it comes out like this. Wheel cylinder is out. So you gotta see how it came apart, the boot came out. And you just basically put it on the same way. But you also, before you do that, you gotta take the old, see this is the clip I was trying to get off. So when it pushes on, it pushes in there and lock in. Okay. So before you get going and put the wheel cylinder in there, you wanna have this on the on the uh, the line and the line back in the hole because okay. you're not gonna be able to put that on once you get it going. Gotcha. <clears throat> yeah, so then, I want to remove that for the line and uh, stick it in. Man, it's like playing Rubik's Cube, man. It's like little things to everything you got to do. All in sequence in order for everything to be perfect. Yeah. So. so if y'all was into Rubik's Cube, y'all would probably love working on old schools. Hey y'all, but y'all, you know, say y'all like the DIY videos, you know what I'm saying, and uh, learning how to do different things, you know, that's why I try to do it on my channel, uh, that's why Roy do it, does it a lot on his channel, so if y'all haven't, go subscribe to his channel, because he does a lot of DIY stuff on his channel too, and uh, he does a lot of, you know, cl cleaning videos and all kinds of stuff, stuff with the family, all type of stuff, man, you know what I'm saying, all type of stuff, so yeah. But yeah, y'all just uh, stick around, man, and uh, we'll show y'all the update uh, once he get this part of it, I guess, together. All right, let's go. Yeah. All right, gang. I was just telling him, so basically, uh, that's why you want to use an old one. 
because it draws it in. And basically, once you get the thing lined up correctly, the vibration from the uh, impact is what draws it in. Oh, okay. If you get it on the grooves right. And if also, so this was our donor that we was using. See how it went flat? If you start spinning that on there and it's not going on right, do not force it because you are going to ruin, you're going to ruin the new uh, stud. Yeah, definitely don't want to ruin the no, stud. No, you don't want to do that. Took some brick cleaning. Cleaned it. Drum up. That's what I want. Yes, yeah, sir. We good. Yeah. All right, so now we just need to put this shock and everything to spring back in. You still wanted to use these ones, or you said you wanted to? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try these still, and then if they don't work, I'm going to throw my other ones back in. It is so easy. Which way did you have it? You had the. Uh, I can just look at the other side. Yeah, you had uh, this. The letters go up. Yeah, there's letters on it. Okay. Yeah, the Let's letters. See. Yeah. Face up. Got you. Let me go up under here. See, Stunner know how to do wheel seals now. Look. Yes. <laughs> so, but also, um, uh, uh, I wanna. We are gonna leave this alone because they uh. Yeah, we don't need it. We're just going to make sure you know, this is secure when I get done. You didn't have the rubber boots went up top? No, no. Okay. Okay, so Baby Roy jacked the rear end up for me. Make sure it's tight. Okay, now go on, go up. Go on, go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up, go up. Oh, let's put this push in. No, no, uh, uh, uh. It's gotta go on up first. Okay. Then wash up. Then the boat. Yeah, we good, good. I forgot I had to do mine like this too and take my shock off to get to my um the wheel cylinder to make sure it all mined up right. Back in the game, coach. Yep. Yeah, so when the wheel cylinder, when you're removing it, you just get you something to stick in between those to pry it out and then okay. slide it all the way up. And then when you put it on, you're going to hear it lock. Okay. Against the uh, wheel seal. That little clip. That's mm -hmm. the most important part right yeah, there. That right there. A lot of people, they just put the wheel seal and forget that. And then later on, they have the same problems over and over again. Oh, okay. But we want to put this wheel over here. The one that don't got brake fluid is the one that go over there. Actually, you know, you know what you can do? You can no, they, I, I know which one because they got them chop it wrong. Chop it wrong. So that's Yeah, but yeah. The, the dirty one, that's how I know because it's the one that was over there with yeah. the wheel seal. So that one needs to go on that side. Uh-uh, no. This one got to go back on this side because the, the... On that side? Yeah. Cause oh, the, so it was right. You switched them already. No, no, no. It's got to be because they got the chopping wrong. It's chopping the wrong direction. It's supposed to be so chopping. So what side this one going? It's a... This wheel got to go on this side, but this tire got to... Oh, go okay, okay, okay. So yeah, you just so want I gotta, to still put the tire on this on the same side? Yeah, yeah. I it got to go back over here because... Well, let's go over the there and clean it real quick. We for the clean the, the tread, inside the rim. The tread is... The tread has got to be facing the right direction or yep. else when you get caught in the rain, yeah, yeah, it'll yeah, hydroplane. Yeah. I so, feel what you're saying. Yeah. But we finna go over here. I'm finna clean the uh, brake dust out of here. Grease. Oh shit, y'all finna get a little uh, Flyroy uh, the trans set of mobile washing. Yes, sir. Flyroy, do it the right way, right. Every rip. 
But yeah, I'm glad we got that situated. Now we got to do the other studs on the other side. And uh, guys, what I might possibly be doing, if it sits a little too low, I might end up putting my old springs back in there, which I still have them right there. But I'm gonna try to get away with, you know what I'm saying, doing it with my, my lowering springs. Cause I, I really like the way it look squatted all the way down. But if I put those springs in, it'll sit up just a tad bit higher and uh, it'll still look good. It'll look better than it did. So we're gonna see. Let me show you something. Well, you know when it does that, this thing got the choke on it, like on your bike. Okay, so you got two levels, just like on your bike. So the black one always stays the same, because that's the gas. The top one is the choke, so you'll pull it towards you, and it should start it up. Now, once it, once it starts running, you know. For sure, flower is gonna get you clean, boy. Look how clean that boy look. Boy, that boy look grand yeah, yeah, new, yeah. If you're gonna do something, man, I was always told, man, do it right the first time so you don't gotta come back. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to boost your company, your business, man, you gotta do it 100%. If you ain't gonna do that, stay at home. <laughs> yeah, I heard him. Y'all heard him. I got water all on my lens and shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you can leave right there. We might have to clean the oven. Yep. Y'all heard them, man. Damn, I gotta get ready to change our batteries, man. All right, I'll be right back. Gotta change batteries. Let's get it. And I'm back. I know y'all probably wonder why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because this is brushed aluminum. If this water dries up on this rim, it's not gonna look good when it's the car shining. It's gonna have water. <laughs> Do the wheel studs 
on the other side, and then uh, we can put the tire on on this side, leave it still jacked up, and then I'll bleed the brakes. Because the reason why you want to do that, you can put the car actually in drive, and while you got the tires on there, we'll put one lug nut on the drums, and they should be grabbing in the back. Okay. When we put the brakes. So, uh, we need the hammer. Yes, sir. Y'all stay tuned. Let's get it. All right, gang, man. My brother then got all the studs in, man. We got all new studs. That's right. Now, he going down to the last part, man. The last final you dig, you dig. What we doing now, Roy? Uh, bleeding the brakes. And also, too, people don't know a lot of times that your wheel cylinders can go bad for not having the uh, brakes bleed correctly to get enough pressure to go back there in the back. There you go. See? I found that out, too. He found it out the hard way. Yeah, yeah, crashed yeah, yeah, into yeah, the yeah. back of no, my no. old lady. <laughs> no. I threw mine in reverse. No, it almost it. happened. I threw it in reverse. <laughs> Yeah, cool. me and Junior was riding, man. I f didn't have nothing. No thing. Nothing. No thing. <laughs> what, no. what Junior was doing? Oh, Junior, yeah. what you were doing? Scream, screaming? No, I was sitting. I just kept feeling like a. No, you know, I was <laughs> trying to play. I didn't want him to panic, so I'm like, yeah, we got this. I get to the line. He's like, Dad, why is you rocking like that? Oh, nothing. We just need to go to the auto parts <laughs> store. <laughs> All right, Junior, you get in there. You get in there and uh, pump them up. We're gonna pump them up and check the leaks. Pump it up. Pump, 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 pump it up. Get in and close it all the way. Yep. Okay, pump them. See that? We don't got no leaks. Keep pumping. Let that pressure get back there. What the brakes doing? Oh, they getting hard? Oh, yeah. After that third one, they Keep pumping and we're gonna make sure we got no, keep pumping. Let that pressure build up and go back there. Still gonna bleed. Let them just go one time to make sure I know fluid coming out. Right, right. We're gonna do it the right way. Uh, that's the only way I know how to do it, is stay at home, like I said. You know what I'm saying? I am know nothing to my brother if I can't make sure it's, it's done right. Nothing. Okay, let's get up. Okay, pump them three more times and hold them. You holding them? Yeah. Why do people hate bleeding brakes so bad? See that? See all that by air? So since I'm <laughs> the farthest from the master cylinder, we ain't gonna have to do the other side. Okay, go ahead. Somebody in the comments gonna be like, he's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I love that though. <laughs> what? Pump them up about four Somebody times. Somebody in the comments gonna be like, he don't know what he's doing. You're gonna One day die. I'm gonna show y'all my certificate. You're, you're gonna die. <laughs> Somebody in the comments gonna be like, you're gonna die. Flyroy sent you off, my boy. Okay, keep pumping. This side got a whole lot of air, so the air came to this side. They getting hard, Junior? Yeah, I know. Hold it. Okay, you hear I'm still putting? Still bubbling. Pump them up. You heard that? Okay, hold it. There we go. See, you ain't hear no bubbles out of that one. Right. Okay. Top off the fluid. Pump them up. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go check the fluid. Yeah, check the fluid Stunning, out. Stunning, you're gonna die. <laughs> hey man, for the person that's in the comments, I already know before this video even dropped, y'all are gonna be in the comments. He don't know what he's doing. You're gonna die. Hold on, hold on, get off the brakes. Don't push him, I'm gonna check the fluid. To make sure we good. You said what, bro, bro? I said I ain't realized the steering wheels on the regular was just skinny. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I bought the damn thing. It's the wrong one. Okay. 
Y'all hear Lady X in there with the kids? They feel good? They tight? Okay. I'm just going to hit it one time on this side to make sure that we got fluid coming out of there. I don't see no leakage coming from it. It would have been coming at the bottom of the uh, the drum like hey, it he, was. He's trying to make sure y'all... But you can see it moving. You see his, uh, watch, when he put up the brakes, you can see the uh, the wheel cylinder kicking out. I like to do stuff the right way. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. That's I just that's just me. I, I'm gonna go through and check it three, four times. That just you can't, it's better safe than sorry. Hey, you hey. know what I'm saying? He don't want y'all in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> the one dude that was in the go be in the comments. Hold, hold it, baby, really push <laughs> the one dude that was gonna be in the comment, he ain't wanna hear your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna die. <laughs> Tony, you're gonna die. Right, like, no, nah, man. I'm, you know what, man? Let me go ahead, man. You so I ain't got to hit dude mouth. So I ain't got to hit dude mouth, man. Let me go ahead. Heard that? Yep. Got air over there. Ah, uh, see? Bump it. Hey, the one dude in the comment, he probably like, damn it. Hold it. See, Roy was trying to kill me, y'all. You in the comment, you was right. Pump it. You was right. He was trying to kill me. I was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold it. Yes, yeah, sir. Now we got action. We're good. Okay, go on, pump him up. Them boys should be nice and hard now. Yeah, yeah, you good, good. So now we're gonna clean up all this. So you don't. Yeah, we're gonna uh, throw the wheels on and test them with the with these springs in there. Hopefully, I can keep these springs in there. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can keep these springs in here and have that low, low squat, that big major squattage. But if not, we're gonna have to put the other springs in back in. So we'll see. You know what you just did though. What I just go home. What Elko is gonna be driving today? <laughs> <laughs> see? Motivation. Yeah, so I'm telling you, that's that's the same thing like I, I was telling you what happened with Scrappy. Scrappy left me, man, because I didn't want to give it back. You know what I'm saying? But I fixed my car that was sitting in the garage for 10 years because it's scrappy. Because it's scrappy. Motivation. That's real talk. Yeah. Big motivation, yeah. big motivation. All right, gang, let me uh go ahead and start putting these wheels back on so we can let it down so I can see what this squad is looking like. All right, holla. All right, gang, g -g gang, g gang, g gang, gang, man. It's a long time lady, I got it. Um, man, then went through a lot. Lady X about to go to the beach with the kids. I'm gonna have to meet up with her later. But Flyroy, man, man took I care of me. Man, I broke it. That's what happened, it broke. <laughs> nah, he uh, got the Regal all the way in order. Y'all know that's exactly what we was looking for. And we got it done, man. Him and Junior. Yes, sir. So tell him uh, what all you had to do. Uh, so basically, he he took the car for a test drive. And what happened was, I guess when the, when the drum went on, Maybe the uh, the wheel seal wasn't sitting correctly in between both shoes. So when he left and drove, the whole rubber boot jumped out of the seal, which I had to push it back in, put the boot back on there, and adjust the brakes accordingly to put it all back, and then did some testing, we did some bleeding. That was the process that took so long because it was leaking, so I had to actually bleed the whole system of the truck. I had to start from the farthest to the master cylinder, to the closest to the master cylinder, then the farthest away from again mm -hmm. to do that, you know, that, that cross process all over again. So right now it's good and straight and she ready to go, man. I actually got me a nice little ride in it. It ride real good, man. Nice smooth ride, you know what I'm saying? And I like it, yeah, yes sir. Yes sir, Roseanne, man. Yeah. Definitely, man, can't uh, wait to get out and enjoy it. Uh, I gotta actually get ready and go over here to uh, the spot that we're trying to do uh, Stunner Jam and uh, 
sign a contract, man. So I'm waiting on the phone call. Should be getting any second now. And uh, we're going to go lock that in. So, yeah, but that's what it is, man. But uh, I'll holler at y'all in a minute once we uh, get over there and lock that in, man. Hopefully, that's how we end in this video. All right, let's get it. Today's video is brought to us by the Street Whip Stunting Facebook group. If you're into custom cars, the Big Wheel culture, Big Wheel racing, or anything customized with cars, motorcycles, and trucks, make sure you join the Facebook group Street Whip Stunting. You can post all your pictures, all your videos, and it's free. So definitely click the link in the description of this video and join the Facebook group Street Whip Stunting. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, uh, subscribe, share. Uh, what does it like for you, Nigga? Like, subscribe, square, like. Square? Oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> All right, subscribe, 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 square. Yeah, subscribe, share, and square. like. So it ain't it, square. It, it's square. <laughs> it's square. And share. All right, that's Subscribe up. to my man.